Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. Last time, we got the other half of the stone metal objects, aka the umbrella symbols, or whatever the hell you want to call them. So now it's time to check out the one f***ing part of the game that I have left. Oh my god, well I'm assuming this is the last part, because if you look at the map, which we've already done in a previous episode, everything is either not red anymore, or it's rooms I know I've explored and left behind herbs and whatnot. Pretty much everything is done. So, all that's left is to explore these under the stair areas. Can you cut it out, Thunder? You're trying to scare me. Now, if we use this, one in. <sighs> Psych yourselves up. That's two. It's open. Now, I'm tempted to go back and grab some more items, of, but I don't know what items I would need. We still have the couple of metals and the MO disc that I don't know what to do with yet. I may or may not need to go back and get those, but first things first, equip the shotgun, and let's explore under the stairs. My first speculation is, though, that we may finally run into something that resembles a laboratory, and the only reason I guess that is because they keep mentioning all these scientific experience, experiments that are going on, but they never have a lab to do them all in. Well, it's got to be somewhere, and right under the stairs in the main hall makes the most sense. Prepare for scariness. I know I am. And we gotta be closing in on the end of this game as well, by the way. Alright, first glance. No enemy. There is a typewriter and an item box immediately in here. Already enjoying that. So there's a typewriter right there. Okay. Good. If this room has an item box and a typewriter, then there's probably no enemies in it. Which is always good. I'm glad there's an item box and a typewriter. That means I don't have to go all the way back to one. If I want to save it down here, I can. I have three ink ribbons. We are all good. We have plenty of ammo for just about everything. Um, we got six. We got twelve magnum rounds. We got a bunch of rocket launchers still, which is pretty good. Yeah, I got, I got three grenade shells. Plus, I got like twelve acid shells, which is good. And then I got, you know, I got my almost what, 75, 85 handgun shots along with my nine shotgun bullets. So let's check down the stairs. Let's just see where this goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Is this, wait, is this area red? No, okay, so there's no items in this hallway. I'm a little worried there's going to be something in this hallway. I guess I shouldn't be that worried since it's a room that has fucking item box and save point. Usually those rooms in the entire game have not had any uh, thing in them. But I am a little bit scared to find out what's in here. You guys ready for this? The big reveal. What is under the stairs? Besides a long staircase. God, more scary caverns. I haven't had enough scary caverns. Altar? I just realized that the map here is called the altar. Oh no. What are we in store for? I don't know. I wonder how close we are to the end of this. We gotta be closing in on the end of this, right? Shit, I may have I may have been better off going back and getting more of my ammo. I don't know. No, there's gotta be more to this game. This can't be the last thing that happens. It can't be. Wait, and there's red here. Why is there red? I don't see anything to pick up. Nothing shining. I don't see any herbs. I'm trying to, like, click A all around this thing. I don't know. I don't see anything to pick up in here. Let's just go down the goddamn fucking ladder. There's bound to be something down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's Barry, this son of a bitch. Jill. You're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Jill. Talking. Calm down, I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Look how big that gun is. Another one of these creepy-ass monsters that screams at you. Oh god. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Should we give the gun back to him? It could mean our death. 
But you know what? It's better off giving it back to him than keeping it, I think. If only because otherwise we're going to have to deal with Barry as well. <sighs> well, I haven't saved it, so let's just see what happens when we give his gun back. The worst that can happen is we could die and have to redo this. Anyway, oh, he better not fucking shoot us. I will destroy his ass. Wait, keep the gun equipped. What are you doing? Or maybe I should just use handgun. Why waste why waste bullets when I got a, another gun to help me out? Just I'm just gonna go handgun on him. I got plenty of bullets. Might as well use my handgun while I have Oh while I have coverage. Oh yeah. And if I hadn't already fought one of these things previously, then I'd be more inclined to be more scared of it, but we've already dealt with one of these things before. Sort of. Not killed one, but we fought one. Dealt with one in the sense that we've seen one. And somebody said there was only one of these in the game. This is the second one. I can't imagine this being the same one we saw before. Oh, crap. I am now pinned in. This is not good. Alright, we're, we're good. Just keep firing. Just keep firing. Now move, move, move. I'll bury you guys. I'm distracted. Quick move before he comes and rushes us. Let Barry be the brunt of our damage. Shit. Barry. You get hit, Barry. Not me. There you go, Barry. Oh, there you go, Barry. Can we, can we like kick this thing down? Ah, do it again, Barry. There you go. Maybe if we shoot it in the face. Fall off. Oh my God, it's not falling off. Barry, is there no way to kill this thing? The only way is to knock it down the hole. Oh my God, the only way must be to knock it down the hole. The question is, is how, all right, fuck it. We're going to use one shotgun on it. I've already wasted enough ammo. God damn it. Ouch. Bitch smacked me. Let's eat a first aid. I don't want to die. I want to try and at least learn how to beat this. Even if I don't save all the ammo wasting that I just did, the least I could do is figure out how, how to beat this damn thing. I'm over here letting Barry waste all his goddamn ammo on this thing. On. Thank you. There we go. Jesus. Wasted hella ammo trying to do that, too. Now what, Barry? Now what now, Barry? Are we still going to play this fucking stalemate game or what, you little bastard? I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me. Go on ahead. Okay. Huh. I wonder if it's smart that we let Barry have his gun and we didn't kill him or kick his ass or let him die. It probably made that battle a lot easier than than what I was doing. And we may have got to keep his gun though, that's the thing. We may have been better off keeping his gun. Iron gate great blocks the path. There must be some way to open it. Uh yeah. I imagine so. Yeah, um, I don't know what that way to way is though. Oh, maybe that has something to do with it. Not that one specifically, but one. maybe all, if I push off all these things, maybe? Keep pushing. Oh, okay, I think I see it already. These chains are, like, holding the gate closed or something? I don't know. No big deal, let's just push them all off the edge. Get out of here, stones. Oh, that didn't even open the door. Oh, yeah, it did. I'd say it opened the coffin in the middle of the room, but it didn't open the door. What the hell's in the coffin? Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. There's a photo. Family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of Mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked but and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of your dad, you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes off, uh, is off guard, that we will be our chance. 
When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. Jessica Trevor. More about this Trevor family, huh? That's it, huh? Just a letter? That's all we get? That all that's in here? Well, the room isn't red, so there ain't not a damn thing in here. Guess we're going to the next room. Yay for that. Alright, I'm gonna re-equip my ammo real quick. I only have five shotgun shots left and no other items in my inventory. I may or may not need to go back and get some items. Let's go ahead and see what we got over here before we worry about it. Oh, an elevator that goes up. Up to where? This altar must have multiple floors. Come on, we gotta come across a lab before this is all over with, right? Where the hell are we? The courtyard. We're back in the courtyard? Oh, that's right. There was a whole little spot over there on the side that I've never been to before. I completely forgot about that area. Man, there better not be enemies out here. Get my handgun out. I don't want to waste my shotgun. I'm sick of dogs. Please don't let there be dogs. I've had enough dogs for my entire life. Oh, man. A fountain area. What am I missing? A circular depression with a wolf-shaped emblem. Yep. Gotta go back and get the wolf emblem. That's fine. At least I know I need it. And this one probably has the other emblem I need. Eagle shaped. Yep. Alright. We're going back to get the emblems that I need. Luckily that's not too far back. Hopefully Barry hasn't fucked it all up for us. Fucking Barry. A deceiving little asshole. What is his game in all of this? Was he related to somebody that was in these labs or something? That much I don't know. But that could be his entire motivation for this. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Anyway. Barry, if you start shooting me, I'll de-fucking destroy you. You bastard. Yeah, I get it. He's got this place covered. Fantastic. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me in the back when I walk by, that little bastard. So this area is not red anymore, right? Okay, yeah. Just checking. Just checking. This is technically the same room as the item box in the... Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I was thinking it was the same room, technically, as the item box in the save point, but it's not. I actually don't want to save it, if only because if I somehow, oh God, I'm going to be mad if I die, I'm not going to lie, but at the very least, if I don't want to finish this episode with a save, that light flickered and scared me, if I don't want to finish this episode with a save, then at the very least what I can do is, uh, you know, get all my ammo back and do this again off screen and meet you back at the next point where I stop. Anyways, let's uh switch some shit out. Shotgun, I'll keep the shotgun for hope that I'll find another thing of ammo down here somewhere. I hope. That's just a, that's a big hope. Um, what am I going to bring with me healing-wise? Okay, we need to bring the metal of the eagle and the metal of the wolf. Those are givens. We need the, we need those, so let's bring them. We may or may not come across another, um, area where we need, uh, where we can get an item box. I'm going to bring the ammo disc, if only because... Once I get rid of the eagle emblem and the wolf emblem, I'll have room for it, and we may need it down here. It's literally the only item left in my inventory that I haven't used for anything, and so it's got to be coming up. That's why, That's part of the reason why I think there's a lab coming up, is because we have that disc. And that disc could only mean something related to, well, related to a lab or something with computers, right? Like, that's why we have it. Anyway, and I'm bringing one first aid spray with me. Let's go. Let's go. I know I should probably bring a different gun instead of the shotgun. But I don't know where we're going to come across. I really don't. Hopefully not a lot more of those fucking monsters we just fought with Barry. I hope there's not more of those. I mean, shit, for all I know, that was the same one we fought in the other part of the, the courtyard. Back in the cabin and then down in the, down in the other courtyard area in the caves. That could all be the same monster. This The one that was in here? It might be the same one. I could be wrong. If it was the same one, well, then we'll never have to deal with it again. And that's fine with me. That is all good with me, baby. Better cover this place good, Barry. And don't shoot me in the ass as I walk by, you son of a bitch. I still have worries that Barry's going to betray our ass by the end of this. He's going to be the... Since we left him, you know, with his gun and still have power, I have a feeling he's going to do something to fuck us over or make something more difficult. I mean, to make that battle easier, we had to make something else more difficult, right? I mean, this is survival horror we're talking here. There's going to be some kind of difficult choice we have to make, and that had to be it, right? Whatever. Let's stop questioning things about Barry, and we'll just move on with what we're doing here. Put the wolf emblem in there. One thing down. 
So let's go put the eagle emblem on the other side and see what this does. It'll either open a door or it's going to give us something. Either way, I just wanted to use these items where whenever I came across the point to use them. I didn't actually try the door, but I was assuming it's locked since it was red. Uh-oh. Drain the water. What's in the water? Uh-oh. What the hell is that? Is it... An oh, no. It's an opening. To a new area, of course. Well, that's going to be fun. Before I go in there, actually, I want to check this door. Now that I've done that. Is this door locked? There's a large iron door and it won't budge. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't bother trying to think I could go through there. So where's the opening to get down there? It's over here on this side. All right, let's go. Down into more scary depths of awesomeness. Of the map, where does it look like? It just looks like a staircase, so let's go. And with an elevator, of course. Elevator go down the hole. Elevator go down the hole. Prepare for something. Anything. Well, oh, time for disc two, guys. That's something I actually meant to mention at the beginning of this episode. That we were, we this is a two disc game. And I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, wait a second. Doesn't this game have two discs? And we haven't even got to the second disc yet? Does that mean there's a lot more to this game than I think there is? Or is there just a lot of cutscenes or something? I guess we're about to find the fuck out, aren't we? Time to play some disc two of Resident Evil, guys. And yes, I am switching it as we speak. Luckily, I'm, I have it that close to me, so I can do that. I was wondering when we were going to get to Disc 2. I wasn't... I'm not even kidding at all. I was wondering if Disc 2 was even part of the game, or maybe it was just like a disc with features. Whatever. Here we are. New area of the game. Called the Laboratory. I fucking knew it. All right, Laboratory. Look out for Dexter. Man, if we have to switch discs every time we go back, that's going to be annoying. Water storage tank, okay. Keep that in mind as we look around. I'm hoping there's going to be another item box save point around here then because that, whoa. The sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. All right, so that's an emergency exit. Good to know. Let's go this way then. Oh, God. Another ladder further down in the depths of the lab. Well, we're in a lab. This is Resident Evil. Prepare for something crazy crazy ass something god scary music has already kicked in but it looks like we found another typewriter and item box thank god I was about to say if we have to fucking go all the way back to the other disc just to freaking save and get items I am not going to be happy I'm glad they immediately do that right away now is a point where I may or may not save it see the problem with this LP is I don't have room on my GameCube memory card to save an extra slot that's my problem with this LP so when I save it, I save over my old save. So like if I waste something and I save it, well, there you go. That's, you know, that's all I get. Fuck it. We're saving it. I have plenty of save things. I don't care. I only really used a lot of handgun ammo. I didn't use that much shotgun ammo. I used like five shots, I think. So, fuck it. Now let's double check that I can't. Yeah, see, now it's free space. I was just making sure that I'm not stupid. Fuck it. We're saving it. We're saving it. If I used all my ammo up like an idiot, well, so be it. We might come across a new weapon while we're down here. I don't know. This might be a whole other half to the game. I guess you'll someone will at least tell me what I'm in store for around here. I'm sure. Anyway, I realize I didn't need to bring that disc with me now, but eh, we'll probably have to use it for something around here. Let's just go. Into the labs. Let's see what lies in store for us here. God, we're going to come across more dogs and more zombies, aren't we? I hear zombies already, so that's fun. Oh, this is just a long hallway. This a, is this a... Oh, I was hoping that was a map. Oh, there's a kerosene. All right, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimpin' in it. Nah, but I'm going to go get my gas gasoline thing. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the lighter because we may or may not need them. If they're going to give me some gasoline, I might as well use it. Speaking of fuel canteen, we still got one use, so if we need to kill some zombies, we can always burn their ass so they don't come back to life as the Red Devils, or whatever the hell those things are called. Fuck those things, by the way. Red ass devils. Alright, so in this hallway, is it red? This hallway is red, so there's probably something laying on the ground in here somewhere. Long hallway. Nothing. Oh, there's one. Hey, look, it's a scientist. 
This wall, this hallway is actually wide enough to the point where I don't want to waste ammo, so let's just not. Ah, uh, shit. Or I can just fucking completely run into his arms. And we'll just waste a taser on him. Fine. Does that automatically kill, kill a zombie? No. I don't want to waste any ammo on it right now. If I have to come back, I'll kill one. Or should I just kill it? I'd rather not have to contend with more than one. Fuck it, let's kill one. Alright, that should be it for him. If anything, I just don't want to have to kill more than one. I'm okay with, like, getting around one at a time. But, fuck it. And who knows how long I'll survive down here. So let's just, you know, deal with it as we go. God damn it. And I will go refill my fuel canteen. Why does the scary music have to kick in down here? It's not cool, game. Not cool. Well, whatever. Let's just keep moving. Alright, there's another zombie, like, right here. He's, like, stuck on the wall. And yes, I see these herbs, but I think I'm going to leave them alone. Because I don't need them right now. And I'll probably be coming back through here. So let's just save them for when we need them. That's actually a good way to... That's a good philosophy with the herbs. Just don't pick them up unless you need them. That way you don't, like, waste your inventory slots. Especially if they're on the way somewhere. Alright, let's get him over here, and then we'll run by him. Hopefully we'll do a better job of running by him than we did with the other one, since that was fucking terrible. And there we go. Much better. Much, much better. Alright, so over here we got staircase, hallway. Choices, choices. We got so many choices. Alright, what's over here first? Oh, there's another zombie. Oh, there's another zombie. That I didn't know. Fuck another zombie. Alright, what do we got over here? We got another MO disc. Wait, another MO disc? That, that I didn't expect. Oh, that's fun. Okay, and this door's locked electronically. Oh, that's super fun. Electronic door locks. Cool. Sort of. Oh, wait. wonder if they... Oh, oh, let, me, let me examine these MO discs. Did I examine these before? I know I examined one of them. Rebooting a system. What system? Maybe the door lock system? Huh. Curious. Very curious. Hmm. Well, let's just go in here. Fuck it. Let's just explore as much as we can. Since I just saved it, anything I do right now is just a matter of looking around. If we miss anything or can't pick something up, well, we can deal with that as it comes. Alright, from here we can go. Okay, cool. We're in like a square area. Well, let's check this door first since we're right here. Let's go back to being thorough and checking every door as we go. Okay, this is a small room. We got a first aid kit right here immediately on the ground, which I have no space for, but, like, I'm not in a hurry to pick that up. Is this just a small... S oh, no, this is a hallway. This is a hallway with another door. Oh, didn't realize that was another door I could go in. Okay, what do we got in here? This one's just a square room with nothing in it. What is this? There's some kind of switch. Do not press a switch until you look around. What is this? the fuck? It's like a... I don't know what the hell that is. It's weird looking. Whatever the hell it is. Oh, what the hell kind of room is this? It's like... These are like x-rays. Okay, there's something scrawled in the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Oh, I get it. They're pictures of pieces of the... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So there's pictures of like... Things... There's already, oh, alphabetical, meaning there's already, yeah, okay. There's guys' names on there, and we have to set them up there in alphabetical order. Let's go ahead and read this letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up a terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2, where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded the password into an x-ray picture, a rotenogram, a rontgenogram, I don't know how to read that, 
Um, I know you, and I'm sure you will not. You will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Okay, John, it is. John and Ada. Who are John and Ada? Well, I am aware of the people in this in the in the Resident Evil universe, and I'm imagining this this Ada is Ada Wong. I don't know much about her. I just know her name. Let's hit the switch. <coughs> Sorry. So the switch makes the room red. <coughs> wow, I just got a, like a dry spot in my throat all of a sudden. Anyway. So, until I get some inventory space, we can't do the puzzle in here. We'll do that maybe next episode. Let me just finish looking around a little bit. If anything, I'll just start in that room and try to figure out that puzzle and have some inventory space. I want to just explore a little bit more since I have the time to explore for a bit. Uh, this room had one of those monsters chained in it. I can see the chains already. Alright, so these doors we can open? Looks like they both might be locked. We have... Locked door. And over here we have... Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if we can just release the locks on the levers. Oh. Is this... No, I was going to say, is this using the discs? Maybe, I mean, maybe it is using the discs. Huh. Maybe it is using the discs, but you don't use them here. You use them on something else. Okay. The, the, the discs might actually be used to open that door. We'll find out later. But if there, we have... The only reason I assume that is because we found a second disc... And I imagine that means there may be another one. Oh, fuck. There's a zombie right there. Back, back, back. Run, run, run. Oh, God. I didn't know there was going to be one right there. Is there one? Oh, the... there's too many zombies. I have to kill some. They're in the way. God damn it. God damn it. Get off. Get off. Get off. Oh, my God. How many? How much shake, up, shake and bake do we have to do to get that bitch off of me? I'm going to die down here. All right. Is this a door we can open? Looks like we went the perfect way. The only other door in this hallway we can open. Let's check it out before we get killed. This might be the perfect last room to check out before we end the episode. Alright, nothing to aim at immediately. It's just a big square oom. You know what I should do? Use my first aid spray. Let's do it. We're caution anyways. We can at least use it to look around. Yes! Magnum bullets. Don't pick them up. We don't have space. And, uh, we can come back for those. Part of the corpse is lying on the table. This room is big. A row of LCD monitors. They must have once been used to display something. No shit. That's what a monitor is for, bro. This room's hella bloody, too. What do we got? Oh, book to read. V Act. Reachers is no. We have read a lot in this episode. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and can reach the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Or V A C T S, maybe. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Head. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have figured have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and combine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, I see. The thing I killed in the basement of the backyard cemetery is that. Hey, look, a computer! Umbrella computer! Oh, man. I, I... I don't know... Should I already know the password of this? I know I read something earlier, but... I don't know. I'm not even gonna try, because I'm not entirely certain I know... How to... How do I get out of this? Yeah. Um, I might already know it, but I'm not entirely sure I know it. I don't know. That, that, the, guy, the guy's letter I read from John earlier seemed to be the maybe give me clues about the password and the username and stuff. I might have to double check on that off screen or whatever. But, yeah. There's that. Okay. Bunch of cadavers. Alright, so... Doesn't like there's anything in that back room. So all we got in here is some magnum ammo. Alright, so in that case... Actually, I'm going to pick up the Magnum Ammo and see if that's literally all that's in here. Because if that's the case, 
I'll just redo what I just did in this episode before I start the next one. Yeah, there's probably just got to figure out the puzzle in here. I don't know if there's any more items in here. It doesn't look like it. But as I'm saying, uh, I think this is where we're going to end the episode. Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil, I'll probably meet you back in the X-Ray room and we'll try to figure out that puzzle. And then once we figure out that, we'll come over here and try to figure out this uh, password, which by then I probably will know. We'll find out. So anyways, see you guys then. Peace.